Hi, I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to kick off our new series on the 5 second 5th grader test. The 5 second 5th grader test is a test you need to run on your website to determine whether or not you're connecting with your audience as quickly as necessary. The test is simple. First, bring up your website in a web browser, and without scrolling, ask yourself if you can answer these three questions in five seconds or less. Question number one, what is it that you do? Two, what do you do for your customer? In other words, what value are you bringing to them through your services or your products? And three, if they're interested, what should they do next? Do you have a clear call to action telling them what they should do next in order to take that next step? So today, we're gonna to go ahead and we're gonna look at three websites in a random city, and in a random industry, and we're gonna rank them and see how they do. Do they pass or do they fail? Why is this important? That's a great question. Your prospects, no matter how they find your website, whether it's through organic search, a paid ad, a referral, a link, they're going to give you less than five seconds to justify why they should invest any more time on their website. And if your website in the first five seconds without scrolling can't answer those three questions, what do you do, what's in it for them, and what should they do next, likely they're going to hit the back button on Google and go and check out one of your competitors. That's why this test is so important. You're taking a lot of time, energy, and money probably to bring traffic to your website. Let's make sure when they get there, you have the highest probability of converting them into a prospect. With that, let's jump into some testing for this week. So I ran a random number generator, or city generator, I'm sorry, and I came up with Cleveland, Ohio. So let me share my screen here a minute. We're gonna go to Google, and we're gonna look for Cleveland, Ohio, and inside of Cleveland, we're gonna look for chiropractors. So let's start by Cleveland, Ohio, and chiropractors. Why chiropractors? Well, in our digital business group, um, some of you may be familiar with that. We do digital coaching for business leaders. Uh, that was one of the top requested ones we take a look at. If you've got an industry you'd like us to look at in a city, let me know. We'd be happy to do that. But for today, let's take a look at chiropractors in Cleveland. So first thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to pick on the top three map ones, and we'll take a look at those. And then we will also uh, take a look for those that want bonus opportunity at the top three organic. So Bay is an ad here. We're not going to click on them, but let's take a look at Arcade and Cleveland Chiropractic and Kim's Corners Chiropractic. And let's see how they do. So remember, we're going to take a look at their website and then we're going to look at it for five seconds and see if we can answer these three questions. Here we go on Arcade. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. All right, were you able to tell me what they did? Well, let's go back and take a look again. One, what do they do? Well, their name, Arcade Chiropractic, as well as chiropractor to Cleveland area and professional athletes, eh, it tells me they're probably chiropractors. I have an idea of what they do. So the next question then is, what do they do for me? In other words, how can I benefit from working with them? Well, if I understand chiropractic, I'm, I have some assumptions I can make, but we really need to tell the client more than just, you know chiropractic, so you know what we can do for you. So the only thing I really see on here, they talk about Google Maps and patient forms, is this NAET allergy elimination, both up here and down here. Now, I'm a layperson, and I have no idea what NAET means. So I think they've made a major miss here. It's just not something that resonates with me whatsoever. Or maybe, hypothetically, they don't want to do chiropractic services to 50-something guys. That's another possibility. I understand allergy elimination, but I think they do a lot better by talking about how they can make me healthier, feel better, remove pain, things like that that they could share with me here. So I'm going to say they fail on the second test what they can do for me. And the third, what should I do next if I'm interested? And I'm going to give them a passing grade here, although just barely. They do two things that are good. One, they've got the phone number on the upper right-hand corner. It's the excellent place to have it. Secondarily, they do have a button here about make an appointment. 
I would recommend one key change here. I don't need to see the Google map and the patient forms here before I scroll. I would make that whole area a big make an appointment page and make it even easier because remember if you confuse you lose and with this picture and everything else this is a little bit of a confusing site. Not terrible but just a little bit and I think they could do a bit better job. So overall they pass on the first, they pass on the third, they fail on the second. Let's take a look at home chiropractic and we're going to count to five again. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005. All right, were you able to tell me? We'll go back and take a look here, but let's see what we can find out and whether or not you were able to pick this up in five seconds. So I land here on a Google and the first thing I see is supporting spinal health. Okay, not bad. And they we create healthy families. Okay, that's fair. And again, supporting spinal health. Looks like we're looping. No problem. So question number one, what do they do? Well, again, based upon their name, Cleveland Chiropractic and Wellness Center, I know what they do. They pass. Question two, what does it mean to me? Why should my family, why should I work with them? Well, they talk about supporting spinal health and wellness awaits you. It's kind of broad. I'd like to see something more specific. Uh, they do talk about creating healthy families. That's that's pretty good. I would love to see something even more specific here again, really helping me understand why I should choose Cleveland Chiropractic above any other chiropractor in the area. I'm going to give them a, yeah, not really on the passing second number two, or test number two. So then the third test is, what should I do next? Well, they actually do a really good job here. Right in the middle of the screen in a different color is request an appointment. I can see that. It's easy. I know what to do if I'm interested. I'm assuming that's what they want. As a secondary, they even have a contact form down here at the bottom that I can see without scrolling. And that's fantastic. So pass the first, pass the third, fail on the second. All right, so we're going to take a look at our last one here in the first group here. Again, I'm going to count to five. You tell me, can you answer those three questions? 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. All right, was that any better? Let's go back and take a look and see what we can do. So, Cam's Chiropractic, or Cam's Corner's Chiropractic. Um, do they explain what they do. Well, again, because of their company name, yes, I know they're chiropractors and that's good. They also have some messaging in here talking about uh, chiropractic starting your day in that. So I'm going to say they pass that. I know what they do. Two, do they tell me what's in it for me, why I should work with them? And I think, candidly, of the three sites we've looked at, they do a better job here. Uh, starting the day with chiropractic care, maybe, okay, but I can see that that at least helps maybe imply I'm going to have a better day. Uh, paving the way to a healthier you. Okay, they're going to help me with my health and they're going to help me with my family's health. Perfect. No, again, I think we could be much more direct and do a much better job of this, but of the three, I think they've done the best job here. Then the last question is, what should I do next? If I'm interested, what do I do next? Well, they've done a good job here. Both the phone number right here on the menu, as well as a nice contrasting color here in orange, request an appointment button. So it makes it very clear what I'm to do next. I think overall, again, probably the best from not a design perspective or anything else, purely from a marketing perspective, I think they're doing the best of the three sites we took a look at. So I'm gonna add a bonus section here of the organic in a minute, but if you want to get an overview, you can stop the video here and join us later. But before we do that and before we call it clip, let's close these three and let's go back to our top three organic listings and it looks like one of those we've already been to. So first, we're going to skip expertise.com as it lists the 17 best. That's a directory. I don't care about that. We'll go to Cairo Cleveland and we'll go to Allied Health and Chiropractic. So these are not map based. These are now organic based. And so let's see how we do. Oops, I forgot. We're going to count. So ready, set, 1001, 1002. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. All right. Were we able to answer the relevant questions? You tell me. Let's go take a look. So first and foremost, I want to take a look. What do they do? Well, very big and clear. 
Lots of words here, but I can find out they do chiropractic services. Fair enough. So now, what does that mean for me? Why should I choose them? It looks like they're part of the Cleveland Clinic. Why should I use them versus anybody else? Um, they talk about their treating problems involving muscles, tendons, ligaments, bones, cartilage, and nervous. Tells me what they do, but it really doesn't tell me how that benefits me. So I'm going to say they fail this one. Um, they're not telling me the benefits that I'm going to get from working with them as opposed to another chiropractor. The uh, COVID warning up top is fine, but it, again, it does not, it's not telling me why choose them necessarily. And then the third is, what should I do next? Well, they've done a good job here. Again, there's a phone number. I can see that. And there's an appointment and locations. Now, in all fairness to them, I want to minimize this banner for a second and see if that makes any difference because that banner may not always be there. Uh, so let's minimize the banner. Does it make any difference? No, not really. I still know what they do. I'm still not really sure why I would work with them versus anybody else. And I can still see what I should do next. So let's go take a look at Cairo Cleveland again and get ready for your count. Here we go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. All right. So you tell me. For Cairo Cleveland, were we able to answer those three questions? Let's go back and take a look. Cairo Cleveland. Well, I can assume, which is always dangerous, that Cairo Cleveland means chiropractic. And I do see way at the bottom of the screen talks about chiropractic treatment. So I'm going to give them a passing grade there. Again, I think they could do better, but I'm pretty sure they're a chiropractor. Two, why work with Cairo Cleveland versus anybody else? To be honest, based on this portion of the screen, I have no clue. So total fail there. Uh, other than they do have a beautiful wooden sign, but I don't think that's probably enough reason to pick them over anybody else. Next is call to action. And how do they do? Well, they do fair here, and I'll give them a passing grade. They do have a nice contrasting color book and appointment button that tells me what I should do next. So we're good. Last but not least, we're going to take a look at Allied Health and Chiropractic. Get ready for your last five second count. And here we go. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005. All right. What do you think? Any better? Let's go back and take a look here. My browser would cooperate. There we go. All right. So I see, again, what do they do? Well, that actually probably an excellent job of this because I see first in their name, Allied Health and Chiropractic, and they talk about through the rotating banner here, physical therapy, chiropractic care, and a series of other things. So I get a, an overall understanding of what they do. Real tight on the five seconds because of the speed at which that rolls through. Um, but overall, I, I think I'm going to give them passing grade there. So now, why work with Allied Health and Chiropractic as opposed to anybody else? I got to tell you, I'm at a loss. I don't see anything here at all telling me why I should work with them. Now, there, be clear. If I scroll, there may be other parts of that, but that's not part of the five second fifth grader test. Remember, when people come to your website, they're not going to spend a lot of time before they decide what to do. You need to pass that first impressions test. And I don't think they do here on why Allied Health and Chiropractic. Last step is, what should they do next? Well, again, good request an appointment button, contrasting color. Absolutely, positively, they do pass that. All right, so we're back. I hope you found this helpful today as we take a look at those sites and to find out what they've done well and what they haven't. I want to make it clear, I don't know any of these businesses and I'm not passing any judgment on them as far as the quality of services or quality of care that they provide. We're simply taking a look at their website through the lens of the five second fifth grader test. And we do that because that's what your customers and prospects are doing when they first land on your website. Before they agree to give you any more time, they're asking those same questions, whether it's consciously or subconsciously. They want to know what to do next and why they should work with you as opposed to your competitors. So I hope you found this helpful today. I would love to hear from you as to ideas, both cities and industries that you'd like to preview. Maybe it's chiropractors in another town, or maybe it's something else in Cleveland or different towns and different industries. If you're really brave and you're willing to, let me know and I'd be happy to review your site as well. I promise not to be rude, but I will give you pointers at what you can do to improve your site and improve the conversion, meaning the number of people that land on your site that become opportunities. If you'd like to do that and grow your business, let me know down in the comments, drop me an email, 
connect with me and let me know what you'd like to do and I'd be happy to help out even to reviewing your site. With that, everybody, make it a great day.